Good evening. Today is Monday, October 16, 2023. Jump date for Tuesday, the 17th. All right, let's go. With no setups again tonight. There's a pretty skinny Landry list once again, and I'll, I'll flesh this out in just one second. Not a much not much change in the portfolio. The shorts had a little bit of a bounce, as you know, but we did have positive movements in LFMD and K. And F. LMFD and NK and F2 for that matter. Both at brand new highs. This one's only by five cents. So kind of playing a little bit of keep the change on that. However, eventually what'll happen is we will start bumping the stop up a little bit as it goes. And because if, if it keeps just making these incremental gains, then obviously the stop will get wider and wider and wider. But for now, let's leave it uh, at a fairly decent distance away in an attempt, obviously, to continue to ride out a longer term. Trend. Let's take a look at the Landry list going into tomorrow. Elf, obviously, we're already short, but it still looks good if you didn't take the first position. It still looks like it's in a lot of trouble. PWR, once again, is a short. I don't really see any reason to go after just because it has a lot of kind of support all the way down. But I am getting asked some questions on it. Uh, possibly looking to deepen the money options. And if you just want to kind of take a, an S&G type of trade, then maybe go a little bit out of the money. The options don't look incredibly expensive. But the HV is only 28. However, on the short side, that HV could increase really quickly. Let's take a look at the portfolio. But in, in general, unless you're really craving action, I would say don't do anything for now. LFMD kind of all over the place, but it did manage to close at a new closing high just by a little bit. Again, if it continues to close higher, then we'll start to cinch that stop once. Again, right now we're giving it plenty of breathing room to ride out some corrections along the way. Hey, take a look at KNF. Brand new highs there. You know me with an IPO. That is always a good thing so far. So good. Knock on wood there. Take a look at KBH. Kind of up a smidge if you squish your eyes. But serious downtrend so far remaining intact. Serious top remains intact there. Let's take a look at the overall market. I think the theme of today is so far most areas are just kind of pulling back to the downside. Not Nothing to get too excited about just... Yeah, you can see the P's, a little bit of a bounce, just kind of barely got past the prior day's high, then closed below them. So certainly nothing to get too excited about just yet. Still looking top in here, still has that overhead. Uh, still has a, a bit, well, overhead supply, but still has a bit of an inverted cup and handle look to it. Let's take a look at the NASDAQ. NASDAQ composite, a little bit of a bounce in here, but so far, kind of an over uh, there. I said it again, but it does have overhead supply, but it's kind of like a... a Upside down, cup and handle. One cup of coffee tomorrow day. <laughs> GBTC, before I forget, blasted higher off its best levels. We're doing pretty good here. It looks like the SEC is backing off a little bit on their uh, lawsuit against them or not letting them make an ETF. So a little bit of premium came off on that today. Bit of, uh, the Probably based on that news, or I guess it doesn't matter, but... I'm sure it's related. Beto, which is the futures, you can see uh, kind of an opening gap reversal there, but still had a big pop higher, 6%, almost 7% nonetheless. Take a look at Rusty. A little bit of a bounce there. Nothing to get excited about just yet. Same as it ever was. Pretty serious downturn remains intact. Longer term, wide and loose. I know I've said that a few times lately. Energy is actually looking okay in here as far as not too far from all-time closing highs. They still have a little, little bit of a retrace look to them, but I'm still seeing a lot of stocks here that are actually setting up on the short side versus the long side. So if we kind of make a big picture top in here and more and more of these stocks begin to set up, as soon as we get a clean one, we will take it and go after them. I noticed that uh, coal stocks, one in particular, I forget the name of it, but it had a gap down, it's an opening gap, uh, what do I call that strategy? Reversal strategy? Opening, uh, no, um, reversal gap strategy. It's been a while since I've talked about that. But uh, anyway, nothing to, nothing that you need to short. That's why it's not in a Landry list. You can see food's in a pretty serious downtrend, just bouncing a little bit. Most areas not looking so hot in here. Banks are kind of chopping all over the place, but in general have worked their way lower. Financials not looking so pretty, as you can see. Still looks like a bigger picture top remains, much bigger picture top remains in place. There. Let's take a look at biotech. A little bit of a bounce there, but so far it looks like they're still in trouble uh defense you can see so far just kind of pull it back in here m and c same sort of action just kind of pull it back so it looks like a top is in place or similar actually i should say as far as a top being in place retail rallying up but still kind of a first thrust look to it it's also i've had to guess a bow tie let's double confirm that yeah you can see it's a bow tie to the downside so the the point today again is so far we're just pulling back nothing to get too excited about just yet most areas as transports Remain a downtrend. Let's take a look at software real quick. Software, one of the better looking areas, but still 
it has multiple tops in here, and I wouldn't get too excited until unless it can bang out some new highs. Let's wrap it up with the semis. Semis had a little bit of a bounce today, an inside day. In general, though, they have been having falling tops as of late. It would take quite the rally to make this area improve, but you know routine. Here it comes one day at a time. So what do we do? Well, now's the time to just sit tight and let things unfold. We likely we'll see more shorts sooner rather than later. So get ready, get ready on the short side a little bit. And who knows, if the market all of a sudden drastically improves, then obviously we'll go back to getting long stocks. Everybody have a great night. We'll talk tomorrow. Thank you so much.